Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome to a movie tag. This is the first time I've ever done this. I actually haven't seen this in the movie community. Not to say that it's not in there, but when I searched it, nothing popped up. But I have seen this in the board game, in the book, and I think maybe the makeup community? I can't remember, but for sure, book and board game, I've seen this there. So I pretty much just made up these questions on my own. So I do have 10 questions. Well, technically it's nine because the 10th question, whatever, is the tag where I'm tagging people. Well, no, actually, I guess it's 10 because I did one question where I kind of paired it together because I feel like they kind of fall within the same deal. But if you do decide to do the tag, don't forget to tag me because I would love to see your video. And of course, you could do it as however you want you can change the question so we're gonna start off with the negative stuff first and then get into like the good the funny the action the scary and all that other good stuff okay so question number one what was my most disappointing movie of 2023 and my movie is actually going to be a netflix movie now if you do end up doing the tag you can decide how you want it if you want to include streaming movies include them if you don't just do theatrical releases there's no right or wrong thing here you guys for me it was a netflix movie which you're probably like well what do you expect from a netflix movie i know but i really had higher expectations for it because of the cast we got reese witherspoon we got ashton kutcher this is gonna be a rom-com movie friends to lovers we got great 90s 2000 act you know actors who did really good rom-com movies back in the day and i'll say where we have them together Oh my god, this is gonna be great! I went in there with higher expectations and then it ended up being my worst movie of the year. Up until I saw the worst movie of the year. So this is your place or mine. I really, really went in expecting more. I just didn't feel like they had chemistry. I didn't like the story. I, I just didn't like anything about it. I was just like, no. All right, question number two, worst movie of 2023 so far. And I know you're probably like, well then it's your place or mine because you just said it. Yes, it was that up until yesterday when I watched the worst movie of the year. Mind you, I'm filming this in like the second week of July, third week, I don't even know where, where we're at in July. And I guess technically mid-year would have been June, but I'm doing this video in July. So I'm gonna just count it from right now. It's another Netflix movie, y'all another netflix movie it's another one that i also thought was gonna be really good given the cast because the cast honestly seemed very very good and i laughed in the trailer but it was not it was cringe fest all the way through i said what is this and that's the outlaws y'all it's adam divine y'all he's the one honestly that ruined the movie if, if he had just brought his like excitement level just down like two notches like he still could have been overboard from everybody else but he was just like off the map like just bring him back down he, like everybody was here he was like a get over there if he had just made it to Laba right there i think we, we should have been okay we're gonna go off into the better things okay so this is kind of where i have like the two for one situation well i still have two different movies <laughs> so technically it is 10 questions but I, i'm gonna just put this in there just because i again they kind of Oh, I was just going to have one movie, but then it's just like, <sighs> what was your funniest slash most ridiculous movie of 2023? And then like at first I said one movie and then I go, but that was just like the funniest. But then it was like this other one it was also really funny, but it was more ridiculous. So I was just like, you know, fuck it. But yeah, we're, we're going we're gonna to have two movies at the end because I just couldn't, I couldn't decide. I couldn't decide which one to put in there, okay? For funniest, I'm going to say it was The Blackening. I laughed so much in that movie. That is exactly the type of comedy that I love to watch because it takes risks. It has a great cast. It brings you back to like the 90s, 2000s comedy. Loved it. Loved it, okay? Uh, the most ridiculous is definitely cocaine bear it's another one that i didn't expect to love as much actually it's one of my favorite movies of the year the blackening was my honorable mint was part of the honorable mention it's a freaking bear on cocaine number four most surprising movie 
of 2023 so far. That is How to Blow Up a Pipeline, which also made it to one of my favorite movies of the year. I had heard so many great things about it, but when I saw the trailer, it just seemed like it was just gonna be like an okay movie. I didn't honestly think I was gonna love it as much as I did. It kind of has stuck with me since I've watched it. And it's a movie that's really just here. There's no action, there's no comedy, there's none of that. It's a bunch of activists that are trying to blow up a pipeline. We get a little bit of their backstory, just like why they're they're doing this, you know, whether it's like land-wise, health reasons. It's great. Literally, it's them trying to blow up, like how they're doing, gonna go on to blow up a pipeline. But yeah, I, I was really shocked on how much I really, really enjoyed that movie. Best action movie and that shouldn't be a surprise also made it on my favorites of the year and that's john wick chapter four i mean it's a john wick movie y'all like what do you expect like you're gonna get full on action and i loved how great this movie was because i was a little bit disappointed in chapter three is chapter three is definitely my least favorite so going into chapter four i was like I don't know because like I loved one and two three let me down I was expecting more from it like let me not get my hopes up for this one and then like whoo it just took it over we love us some cane we're kicking ass love it John Wick question number six this is just for everybody else because I feel like this is a, a topic a category that needs to be in these because everybody and their mama loves them some good horror and if y'all know me y'all know I don't fuck with horror I don't like scary stuff. I don't like things popping up. I can do gore. I can do zombies. I can do demonic shit. I only seen one scary movie and that's because people told me it wasn't scary. Y'all assured me it wasn't scary. Now y'all tell me this. What is not scary about a ding dong doll? I will say this. It wasn't scary. It was like, okay, you murdering people. Okay, I can get jiggy with that. You like, cray cray. All right, you still kind of creepy. You creep me out. But I can fuck with you. Then I kind of let my guard, got my guard down. I said, okay, where is that scary? People assure me nothing scary has happened. The bitch goes crazy. Mm. And there's a scary part. Ah. I said, ah. I went running right to my sister's room. I said, you lied to me. That would be Megan. It's the only scary movie I've seen. I don't watch scary movies because I'm so scary like that. But I saw this one. My sister does want me to watch Evil Dead Rises. But she says for me to record myself to do one of those like reaction videos. I haven't done a reaction video since I saw uh, A Quiet Place Part 1. I just don't know how to do them. I don't. I really don't understand like how to... I, the, the clips that I used for that video, I just ended up getting them off YouTube, which I guess I could do, but that's just too much because what if I don't find the clip that I need for the reaction? So now I'm starting to think that maybe I should do like a watch along? Like what do y'all think about that? That'd be kind of cool that you still get my reaction from it It'll be for the whole movie, like just like a live watch along that could be something i could do that could be something i could do let me know what you think about that question number seven best movie of the year right there bam bam love love me some spider-man across the spider verse looks great great story animation we got punk spider-man which i love we got a mexican spider-man which i love he's kind of like Rawr loves it perfect love me the first one love me this one even more yes all right question number eight an underrated movie and for me I, I haven't really watched that many movies for starters this year okay i just barely i don't even think i've hit 40 movies yet i'm like at 35 38 somewhere around there so i don't really have that many to pick from but plus a lot of them are like not that great <laughs> I, I didn't want to really pick anything that was under like the three star mark because i was like is that really underrated because it's like i only gave you three stars you know i want to get something that's like three and a half stars and up now this is the movie i haven't really heard that many people talk about or anybody talk about it to be honest with you and that is the wrath of becky this is a sequel to becky which was one of my favorite movies of the year what was it like two three years ago we got becky she cray she's a murderous little 16 year old and for the first part, she just had anger issues with her dad, you know, getting with the new lady. Somebody comes, tries to steal the key, kills her dog. One dog survives, Diego. They end up killing the papa. 
which makes her even more like ah and just starts killing everybody boom she was what like 14 at the time 13 i don't know because whatever time passed by she's on the run she's then gonna passing through foster care and then she gets uh she ends up getting picked up by this lady who's kind of helping her out diego's still around shit happens Ooh, but she's still having well now she's having like murderous thoughts throughout the whole time because she has like murder in the brain there's a lot of killing there's a lot of uh, sean sean went, uh, sean 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 am i saying that right sean sean william scott comes on <laughs> i feel like i was saying that wrong it was a sequel that we really didn't need but it was nice to see where Be becky was at this point in her life and just just so funny like how it ends up and the opportunity like the job opportunity that she gets so question number nine most anticipating upcoming movies to come out for the remaining of the year one of these is already out two of them are about to come out and then the other ones are come out later in the year so first one is gonna be joyride i haven't seen it yet but i'm really looking forward to it and i've seen some reviews and they seem to be pretty good kind of gives me that kind of like raunchy comedy again which i'm like really looking forward to then barbie of course i'm ugh, i love playing with my barbies when i was little big time barbie fanatic i didn't watch any of the damn movies or anything that i just play with the damn barbies and i love them oppenheimer of course but i definitely will be watching barbie first before oppenheimer my big fat greek wedding part three i love those movies they're so fun good they're comfy movies game wait saw tim Right? Is that where it is now, Tim? And then Dune 2. Those are the ones that I'm looking forward to for the remaining of the year. I'm pretty sure there's other movies, but those are the ones that kind of came to mind and then that I know of. That's what I'm looking forward to. And most of these are about to come out <laughs> here pretty soon. So finally, my tag of other you fellow YouTubers out there that I would love to see your video. Of course, if I don't tag you, and if you want to do it, do it. If you don't got a way for me to tag you or for anybody to tag you, I wouldn't. I would be like, I saw this video, it looked like fun, and I'm tagging myself in there. And then tag me so I can see your video because I would love to see it. I only have a couple. We have uh, Did You See That, Anthony A. Perez, Jacob Martin, 3D Movie Cinema, Blacktastic Media, Geeks and Flick, and I doubt it that they're gonna do it, but I'm gonna go ahead and, and tag the Table Knot guys for the podcast, that's where they talk about movies, uh, the Board Game Box Office podcast. But I'm going to tag Cable Knots. Again, if you want to do the video, do the video. I would love to see it. All right, guys. If you haven't already, please give this video a like, subscribe, comment, share. Here's my Instagram in case you don't have a YouTube, but you do it on Instagram. Tag me on Instagram. That's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.